Uncle Chill. I got the I'm same. Listening. I got. Scotty I got the same. Kawhi. I got the same. Grade. Are they comparable at all? They are comparable. Absolutely. They How? Are comparable. They're comparable because of their length. They're comparable because what player they are on the team. Just so you know, Kawhi Leonard. They didn't build those units around him. Kawhi Leonard is the, and I hate to to to, to say this when other people hear it. It's Kawhi Leonard is the A one steak sauce on that porterhouse. Mm-hmm. It don't work without him. Before he shows up, we already got the meal together. But once we get him, he's the seasoning. He's the A1 steak sauce. Without him, the meal doesn't work. Mm. Scotty, on the other hand, is a little bit different. Because Scotty was built in with the meal. We got Mm -hmm. cooking right from the beginning with Mm -hmm. Scotty. Mm -hmm. Leonard comes in late. I think Scotty's a better overall player than Kawhi Leonard. I think Kawhi Leonard is a better scorer. I think Scotty is a better over, all-around player than Kawhi Leonard, in my opinion. It's tough. OG. It is tough. That is very tough. And when I saw that on the little document you sent me, and I said, this one is tough right here. Because it's like, when you comparing Ka- – okay, my issue with Kawhi coming into the – coming into, you know, before he had his ascension into, in my opinion, a top five player in his league. I know you don't like to hear that, but that's just what it is. Before he hit that ascension, though, my problem was, you watch the video, his assist. Magic number, two assists. That's what he loved to put up, two assists. It seemed like Kawhi just wanted to shoot the ball every time he touched it. But Pippen, on the other hand, who I think is a better defender than Kawhi Leonard, he's a better passer than Kawhi Leonard. 1,000%. He was asked to do do more than Kawhi Leonard has ever been asked to do outside of the Toronto team on his Bulls team. Because believe it or not, a lot of people like the Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. But Pippen was a huge staple defensively and his timely buckets offensively for us. It may not show because he only averaged anywhere from 18 to 22 points throughout his entire career. But when you got a guy that's averaging 30 in that era, that 18 to 22 means a lot. Now, Dude. it may not mean as much in this era because it's, it's so much easier to score. Or it could be easier to score or we just got more talented players in today's game. Whichever one you want to – I don't care which way you want to go with it. But – as far as just that notion alone, they are comparable to a certain extent, but it's some things Kawhi can do that Scotty can't do, and of course, vice versa. So that's why it's a tough. It's it's tough for me. Mm-hmm. So how long is just the air? Off the, Pick one, OG. Cut the nonsense. Who you got? Man, it's, <laughs> it's, it's that's so tough. Kawhi, like you said, Kawhi is a better scorer, but I think Scotty is a better defender. But Kawhi is no slouch defensively either. Oh, and not. I think the scoring discrepancy of Scotty versus Kawhi would be the reason why I would probably choose Kawhi Leonard over Scotty okay. Pippen if I had to choose one. Yeah. If you're going for the guy that on the team, I'm nuts. taking Kawhi. But if I'm implementing right. someone into a system, I'm taking Scotty Pippen. You could slice it, slice it like that too. Yeah. That's so so how, that. how long is an error? Can I, can I know how long an error is in the NBA? Is it five years? Is it 10 years? Is it 12 years? Uh, era? Yeah. It's usually a decade. A decade. So, so, so Kawhi, from the, I guess from 2010 to 2020, he's probably the fifth best decade. In the era? Yeah, in that era. Fifth best? Uh, sit down and think from 2010. Was he better than Bryant? No. Was he better no. than Carmelo? Yes. Was he better than KD? I take that. Was he better than no. Kane? Was he better than Anthony Davis? Uh, was he better than Paul George? Yes. That's was he better than Steph Curry? No. Man, so I just need to know. Show, I, I so. just cannot. Where I get caught up on every time is, okay, he won the championship at Toronto, but for some reason my molecules in my brain will not count that one. I do not count the San Antonio one either. No, I give it to him, but for me, I'm like any other <laughs> superstar. I feel like a lot of them could have been in that same p- position, and it would have went the same exact way. If Brown was still oh, in the East, does he I win had, that? No, I think, you I can't think put so. Paul George on to, so you got, you putting Paul not George Paul, in Toronto when they win the championship? Not Paul, not Paul, not Paul. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing Paul. Okay. Are you putting, I know. Are you putting Anthony Davis in Toronto when they win yes. the NBA championship? Yes, Please I'm putting AD. to the bystander effect, man. I'm don't putting AD. That, man. Please don't. Let's make sure well, that we Kawhi, clear. That Toronto Kawhi team, did. that Toronto team before Lenny got on it, they was number one in the Eastern Conference. 59 wins. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Lenny mm-hmm. comes back to that team. 
if if he comes back to that team after they win the NBA championship, at minimum, they walk back to the finals. Because number one, the boogeyman in the Eastern Conference is gone. Gone. He's and that's gone. why DeMar, DeMar was so mad. Because <laughs> he felt <laughs> like he could have did what Kawhi did, which I disagree he felt, with. Exactly. Because right. let's be clear about one thing with DeMar DeRozan, who I love. He serves everybody. As soon as he sees the boogeyman, he shook. He yes. wants nothing to do with him. Nothing. He, hey, he ain't the only one. <laughs> and he's not the only one. So now the boogeyman is gone, which means that the door to the, to the NBA championship just flew wide open in the Eastern Conference. Conveniently, but you can't just put anybody on that unit. Conveniently. And that's the thing about Kawhi always manipulating where he's going, how he's going to do it. He knew that that was the fast track to the finals. And all he had to do was lose to Golden State, which was going to happen. But like you said, OG, because you made a great take on that. But I just can't do it with Kawhi the same way I can't put Scotty in the top 10 back then. Like, do you understand? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. It, it, Unk, hear me <laughs> out. Do you understand? Like, I love Scotty. I love Kawhi. I love the players that they are. I really do. But Unk, I got something for you. If the Hall of Fame only inducted five or six players from every era, Scotty wouldn't be anywhere to be found from that okay, we're era. Not talking about, we're not talking about Hall of Famers. We're just talking about top 10 players. <laughs> oh, like, gee, oh, we're geez. talking about Hall of... Okay, so is Scotty better than <laughs> I, Michael I Jordan? Yeah, he just, I, he just, I know he just said that. I'm not letting him off the hook. Oh, gee, was, was, Scotty, was Scotty better than Michael Jordan? No. no. Was he better than Patrick Ewing? Yes. OG? Career? Yeah. David Robinson. No, he's not better than David Robinson. Nope. Carl he Malone and Charles he Barkley. Better. He wasn't better than Barkley. So that's five right, right. there. Now, you guys have okay. to toss up. We're not talking about Isaiah Thomas, Dominique Wilkins, John Stockton, Clyde Drake, Hakeem Olajuwon. We're not talking about these guys. We're just talking about guys that play mostly in the same years as Scotty in their primes. So when I look back and I say, Hall of Fame, if you're only inducting five or six players and Scotty is fringy, and I say Scotty's not top 10 or he's at the end of the top 10, the same like Kawhi, everybody loses their minds. See, where I got confused at, I think you need to change that because you're saying Hall of Fame. If you if you if you're taking not, five guys to Not today's to Hall of Fame, Fame standard. Okay, okay, no, go, on, go on. Hold on. If you're taking five guys. From the 90s, to put into mm -hmm. the Hall of Fame, Scotty would no doubt be one of those five. He has six championships mm -hmm. and, like, mm -hmm. eight all-star mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. enough to warrant you a Hall of Fame. In a row, by the way, OG, don't, don't leave out in, in a row. In mm -hmm. a row. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So, now, if you want to say best players, pick out the five best players from the 90s and put them in the Hall, regardless of what they did in their careers, no, oh, Scotty is not making that cut. Because, like you say, he's not a better basketball player than the Dream. He's not a better basketball player than Shaq. He's not a better basketball player than Tim, uh, David Robinson, Michael Jordan. He's not a better basketball player than Isaiah Thomas. No. So, if you're taking, talking skill, but when you say Hall of Fame, now we're talking about accolades. And the man's a six-time champion in the mm -hmm, night. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, can, you, can, you can combine maybe mm -hmm. four of those guys that I named, and they, ain't getting, and they don't equal six. And we're uh, talking so. <laughs> Too. Don't leave out impact, how big a deal that is, too. That's what I'm saying. So you you, you have to keep that into consideration. You know what I'm saying? So uh, now you, five best players in the 90s? I feel like they're both the most overrated in both of their decades. That's just me. Scotty Scottie and, not. And, but that's and fair. We, we, we can leave it at that. I'm cool, I'm cool with that. Thank you, OG to Beast, for the thumbnail. <laughs> that reaction was incredible. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no you said... Uh, you you said overrated. Who's overrated? You said Scotty and who? Kawhi Kawhi's Ooh. overrated. And Kawhi? Okay. I mean, man, I'm telling you, Scotty six think chips Kawhi's is hard to right now. I think he was three years ago. I don't think I don't. I think he's he's Kawhi's won two championships, one me. true championship, and we treat him like he's. I don't know. I mean, comparing regardless to LeBron of what you say, to KD it, 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 to Steph, it's nah, kind of wild. He, but but he's you don't. In there, though. You don't even need to give – even if he had zero championships, he's still he one of the best players in the NBA. I mean, if look he at, had zero look at Chris championships, Paul. You're not gonna, you're I'm not taking gonna Jason Tatum Paul. over him. You're mm -hmm. not going to say Chris nah. Paul is overrated because he doesn't Tatum have any championships. I said if Kawhi had zero championships, his impact would mean nothing and we wouldn't be having this conversation. But the two championships out of 
What, what are we talking about, OG? What are we talking about? The two championships, you guys treat them like it's 30. And I raise this number every time because the more I talk to you guys, everybody, not just you two, you guys treat this one championship and I can't get over it. But I'm closing the Kawhi book after this segment. I will not talk about Kawhi on this show for a <laughs> six-month period because I can't take it anymore. But you guys treat that championship. Anytime, anytime somebody wins a championship in this era without a second superstar, it's going to be treated as if it's 20. That's why Bro, people look what, at Kawhi's what you, But how do you like say there's no second star? what happened to Golden State, they did beat that, that Sixers mm -hmm, team mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on Kawhi's watch. Mm -hmm. They did do that. And he did ball out. And he did average 30 so did, and 7. So did Siakam. So did Van Fleet. All of these. Uh, Danny Green. Uh, Gasol. Listen, the whole, this off the top of my head. They had a really good team. Somebody, run it, somebody could run it up. Somebody could double check me. But if I'm not mistaken, Kawhi Leonard, before he got hurt this season in the playoffs, in mm -hmm. the 12 or 13 nice. games he played, 11 games, 12 games he played, this man nice. averaged 30 points, seven rebounds, and four assists nice. on damn near 60% from the field. He was shooting 50%, 57% from the floor. Oh my, and it, and it wasn't like it was just layups. 40% three. <laughs> 80-something percent from the free throw line. And, 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 and With Paul George on his squad. Leonard is somebody we have to stop bashing because of what you believe in your heart to be, mm -hmm. but you don't count. Mm -hmm. News flash, Shaq. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's what mm -hmm. you believe, whether mm -hmm. it counts or not. Well, that's mm -hmm. not a fair ring because Golden State got hurt. Like Chill said, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we seen, like Chill said, we seen what happened. In retrospect, we can look back. Well, they returned the favor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, if you believe Kawhi's championship is a is a is a you know is you know is a candy wrapper championship, that's false. Anybody that wins a championship, look at how they glorify Dirks. Whoa, that wins a championship within the past <laughs> twenty seasons without a second superstar in this era, don't feel like more than what it was. Look at Kobe's. Yeah, Powell was giving you nineteen and eleven, but that's it. He wasn't no Kyrie giving you 26 and 5. He was all NBA, though. He was all NBA. So He was, but he not. Let's let's be real talk. Powell was nice, but Kyrie second out. The last thing I'm going to say, the last thing I'm going to say about this you know, is. You D-Wade? Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. The last thing that I'm going to say about this is they, they, they made two changes with that Toronto team. This is the same Toronto team that got swept the year before by Cleveland. They didn't lose in the playoffs. They got swept out the playoffs. They made two changes. Pascal, the Rosen out. Them. They, 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 the Rosen out. Leonard in. Valanciunas out. Gasol out. I'm sorry. Valanciunas out. Gasol in. Yes, yeah, they won the NBA championship. Yeah. So basically, they had, the, they had the same unit come back, and they won the NBA championship. So it wasn't like they completely flipped the roster. It's That's not a candy wrapper title, man. Kawhi balled out all the time. He playoffs. did. He they did. He did. He did. He did. He did. He didn't did. have no he Chris did. Middleton moments and just fell right. in. He didn't fall into no championship, no, man. He, did. he went he out did and got it. I honestly think Shaq just doesn't <laughs> like people's personalities. No. And that's what he bases wanna, everything I, on. You want to clown him for that? I used to love Kawhi. Of him being weird, I get that. No, I, you, that, that has but. nothing to do with it. I, that has nothing to do with it. I just, like, you guys make great points, and thank you for coming on the show and ironing it out because I do look at it with a different lens, but at the same time. You got to let those feelings go, dog. Yeah, is that dog. what it is? Is, is it Carl Thomas it emotional? You got to let. So emotional. <laughs> gotta get off it, fam. Let it you go. Gotta let I'm gonna let it go. go I'm gonna let it out, man. Uh, That's uh, why we here for you. We uh, here for uh, you, fam. Uh, we here to get you off that. Uh, I'm gonna let it walk go. Him, just walk you... him off that ledge, please. <laughs> That's what we trying to do. That's me. Uh, Who's the last perimeter about? player to, get you off to almost shoot sixty percent from the field, bro? In a in a in a playoff run, who a whole playoff, a perimeter player? You can't even name me one off the top of your head. Guess what? I can. Kawhi. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. I just wanted, it's I shooting just over 50. With the same unit, and they won the NBA championship. Now, this is off the top of my head. I believe he shot like 57%. Mm -hmm. That's godly. Freeze. Stop it. I don't even think Curry ever did that. 